the year got off with a bang in January. We had three one versus two boys basketball games on the same day. On January 22nd, in Class AA, Roosevelt took on O'Gorman. In Class A, St. Thomas More played Dakota Valley. And in Class B, DeSmet and White River hooked up. All three teams that won that day ended up winning their state titles. March was memorable for plenty of basketball teams, especially the state champs, but the one team that sticks out is the boys' Roosevelt basketball team that went undefeated and won back-to-back -back state championships. Although there were other unbeaten teams, Roosevelt was the first to do it in Class AA since the 2009 Lincoln Patriots. In April, spring sports got going, and Jake Brushniak of Dakota Valley delivered with a perfect game. In May, Graceland Lyseth of Hamlin set the all-time record in South Dakota with a shot of 52 feet, 6.75 inches at the state meet. It was the third time she broke her own record that season, and she set the mark for the best throw in the nation that year. Simeon Birnbaum of Stevens became the 17th athlete in the nation to break the four-minute mile in June. His performance was the number five time in U.S. history. He clocked a memorable 359.51 at the Brooks PR at the University of Washington in Seattle. Another June moment was watching Dell Rapids win their second straight Class B baseball title, which put me on Dell's dialogue, a personal dream come true. In July, O'Gorman volleyball superstar Bergen Riley went to represent the United States of America at the Pan Am Cup in Tulsa, Oklahoma for the under-19 tournament. The U.S. ended up winning gold and Bergen was named the MVP of this international tournament. At the very end of July through August, the Legion baseball tournaments were played. Rapid City Post 22 won their 44th championship and their third in the last five years to capture the Class A title. In Class B, Vermilion Post 1 answered two comebacks to win the title in outrageous August heat against Winter Cologne. September saw fall sports in full throttle, but once again it was Bergen Riley of O'Gorman who made headlines. She was selected to play with the A-team for Team USA. She was the youngest member of this international team that went to compete at the Pan Am World Volleyball Cup Final Six in the Dominican Republic. She's believed to be the youngest player in the last two decades to make that team. November saw the end of an epic high school football season that included Jefferson winning a title in their second year of existence, Peer winning their state-tying sixth championship in a row, and some great individual performances, including Lincoln Keenholz rewriting the passing record book and Brendan Begeman setting the career rushing record by one yard. The high school volleyball season culminated with Sioux Falls Christian winning their sixth straight title and 11th in the past 13 years, one of the most dominant dynasties we've seen in this state. Then this December, the college football world was paying attention to the middle of South Dakota. Two peer governor football players were heading to the Big Ten. Lincoln Keenholz signed his letter of intent to play for Ohio State, the perennial national title contenders, and his teammate, Jason Machachuk accepted an offer to Nebraska. 